Okay, so for this third part, uh, this is very tricky to do. Impossible to complete suit only because of a glitch. But for right now, you just got to make sure you stick close to this guard, but not too close because there's a guard right there that can see you if you go any further than this. So once he turns his back, we're going to keep sneaking on downhill to set up our first kill. Make sure you pick up the fire extinguisher. That's necessary if you don't already have a distraction item. So once these uh, two guys get down here, their backs will be turned. You can sneak through here. These scientists guys won't even pay attention to you, so just keep on sneaking. I'm going to jump down here and get this fire paste that we're going to turn around and take back up to the room we were just in and put it in that green jar that was glowing when we walked past. And that'll set up our first kill, which the doctor, I think it's Valentine, yeah, is going to come in and this uh, green jar here is like some kind of experimental baldness cure that he's going to try out and burn his skull. Awesome. So anyway, I'm going to take this here distraction item. And you're going to open this door up and you're going to use it to draw this guard in because you need his disguise. Strange noise here. Looking into it. And uh, so yeah, he's just going to sneak in here and then we're going to take him out, stuff him in this little cabinet over here. You're going to see a little flash in a second that looks like I got spotted. I actually wasn't spotted. That was our first target dying. Uh, but yeah, we need this disguise because there's a glitch uh, in the final area where the last target is that uh, prevents you from doing suit only. Yep, right there. That was uh, Dr. Valentine dying. So yeah, unless you want to kill everybody on the map, you cannot do this suit only. Um, unfortunately, that's true on every difficulty level because of this glitch that I'm going to talk about when I get down there. So, now we have this disguise. We're just going to keep on heading towards our next target. Use instinct to sneak past this guy here. And then uh, we're going to head on down this way. Sorry, I, if you can't tell by now, I'm super paranoid about being spotted, so I check my score like about a thousand times throughout the whole time playing this game. So, yeah, we're going to head down here. And. We're going to take the path to the left. Oh, I forgot to uh, distract the, gu the doctor guy. Usually what you want to do is when you first come down the stairs, when you get about here where the syringe is, you want to chuck something over here to delay this uh, doctor guy from moving too far down the line. But I missed the timing on that, so... And pick up the syringe for another distraction item or to use to kill your target. This is the uh, the problem with suit only. This guy on the table here I just walked past, he'll spot you. His eyes are closed. He's not paying attention. But somehow he can still spot you. I don't know what it is. But anyway. So you want to hit that little computer over there to distract those guys. Head over here, turn on the smoke. And then... Uh, see, I messed myself up right there. What I should have done was immediately went for the kill. Uh, for some reason, I forgot about the kill. And tried to activate the lift. But anyway, yeah, while the smoke is going, just uh, pop that guy in the face. Nobody will see you do it. Just chill here till the bridge comes back. Now, the bridge takes a little while to get here, so... What I usually do just to avoid any added trouble is, as long as I'm not at risk of being spotted, I'll hit this steam again, and then just wait here for the bridge. And there we have it, silent assassin. 
We have one last objective to complete, and then we're done. We have to go in here and destroy Dr. Ashford's uh, research on Victoria. Yeah. 